from 4.30 in the morning all the way through the day and into the afternoon if you're not, you know, at the game itself. Which, or the parade. A lot of people yeah. will be yeah. there, but You'll Leave the yeah. parade, go home, turn the game on. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's perfect. It's well, and out. now with the streaming stuff and all the broadcast sure. rights, people are like, where are we going to be able to watch Absolutely. the games this year? Opening day, we've got you taken care of. Yes. yes. Easily. We got, so. we got that one, and we're excited for it again. Mm -hmm. You know, I was almost going to say it's too soon to tell. It is too soon to tell, but it's starting to creep closer on that on that uh, ten it's day. It's to the point where I kind of like look okay. at it, but I don't count on. Okay, it. Yes. you know what I mean? It's like I'll, I'll take a peek, yeah. but I'm not going to, you know, say, all right, this is right. The, this is what's going to happen because it is mid March, and mid March can bring you all sorts of crazy weather, including like today, where we take a slide back toward winter. So it is officially the final day of winter. And today's going to give us winter's last laugh, and that means cold and some flurries. In fact, today our temperatures in many communities will not break out of the 30s. I know 40 is the expected high, but there'll be plenty of spots that just fall shy this afternoon. And with a breeze 10, 15 miles an hour this afternoon, wind chills all day in the 20s. So bundle up this morning. And yes, there's even the potential to see some snowflakes flying. So those flurries could get started mid morning and continue into the afternoon. The one thing we have on our side is that it has been mild recently. Those afternoons have been warm, so there won't be any impact on the road, but it'll probably impact your mood a little bit when you see those snowflakes flying this afternoon. As we take a look at the radar right now, you can see those snow showers across portions of Indiana staying at the moment north of I-70. So in our area right now, it is quiet, but it's also pretty cold. You can see temperatures sitting right around freezing to get our day rolling. So let's take a look, kind of go hour by hour through all of this for you today. Your 12 hour forecast, a scene, a light snowflake, a flurry of possibility. Our temperatures drop off into the 20s over the next couple of hours and notice those wind chills. They stay in the 20s pretty much all day. The warmest hour of the day, four or five o'clock. It might feel like 31, but it's going to be a cold one for us. Futurecast is showing this morning a mix of sun and clouds early and by mid late morning. Here come the, the chance for flurries, maybe a decent little snow shower in the early afternoon, and that chance sticks around into about six or seven o'clock this evening before the skies clear out again. So for today, 40 for the high, cold and breezy, some flurries possible. It's going to feel like the 20s all day. Spring officially arrives tomorrow night. We'll make it to 52 tomorrow. It's also obviously voting day, so do plan on a windy one start to finish. And we start out at 28, so a cold start if you are someone who casts their vote early in the morning. Sunshine midweek and a couple of rain showers back in the forecast for us it's on awful. Friday. All right, Randy, thank you. Another school district giving students.